Anyways, Hillbilly Picker is doing his hillbilly thing here and killing all the bugs. Percenters back again. Take a look at them. I oh, already got them out, huh? What'd you think? I put on low heat. All right, guys, Thursday, Thursday. I'm Ryan, my hillbilly pit crew, Eric. This is Transient Racing, and we just picked up our brand new tires. Look at these bad boys. About as new as they come. Actually, no, never mind. They're not new. But if you guys saw the last video, I told you I was taking these things to a little girl from the track that basically refurbishes them. And I gotta say, they look brand new to me. At least the sidewall does. So I wasn't aware of this, but she actually clear coats over the freaking white. Oh, okay. I was being careful to like not stack no. the white on top. So I thought she was just gonna take a paint pan and fill it in, and then I'd call it good, but she takes one step further and she um clear coats over it so we got a good four set uh four tires a full set to put on the car to take pictures and get it out there on the interweb to sell super trucks going for sale imca stock car and hobby stock is coming up but the coolest part about this whole deal is this is about as bent and bent and broken as it gets you know how much you charge per tire 10 bucks five bucks five bucks and she got some uh salsa made up i'm gonna grab the salsa but i'm gonna try to uh link her instagram in the description i'm not like the best at the tech savvy stuff but if i can figure it out she's on instagram i think it's just like a hoosier i think her name's hoosier tire or something hoosier custom custom hoosier tires or whatever but she made a uh, homemade chips and salsa too so i'm about to test this out i didn't think you tired they probably don't. I think they're a little wider. All right, get you some of the salsa here. Like my new, newly acquired uh, TikTok friend, Stale Cracker says, that's money, dude. You seen that guy? He does cooking videos, like Cajun cooking videos. And he says, while we wait, put it in the oven, we hydrate. One brand new tire, new to me tire, mounted on this beadlock. I've been letting this RTV sit since monday so it should be good to air up pop the beat on it and see if it's a leaker or not but i think this is going to be a good spare for the right rear uh, we're going to get these body panels straightened out on the english wheel and all this work done hopefully on the board and then uh, once these bad boys are straightened back out got them flat again gonna go ahead and touch them up with some orange i just brush on the orange paint and uh then after I get some pictures taken, put the stickers on, take some more pictures, because it ain't going to look like this too long. It's already rims it up a little bit. We're going to straighten it out, though. All right, so the real question is, have you heard the new Frank Foster song? I have not. Dude, brand new. Released one hour ago. What? Yeah. Did you listen to it already? I did. It's pretty damn good. You guys need to check us out. What's it to you? Our man, Frank Foster. Huh? This new album that hasn't released yet, but he's doing singles. It's good shit. All right, I'm gonna uh, pull this baby out and get a little room to pull the English wheel out and work these panels out a little bit, and then probably end up putting them on a stand and painting them in here and letting them drive overnight with the door closed and all the bugs and shit away from it because the bugs love the smell of this paint and they just like are attracted to it. So uh, something bad happened today, and I just want to wish here at Tracing Racing, everybody out there um, that had maybe knew somebody who got killed today in the bombings in Afghanistan, 
some really sad news and uh, all the 13 I think now uh, military members that were killed I just want to send my thoughts out to the families I'm not sure if you guys know any of them but if you do um, it's just a sad deal so here's a cheers to them Bibs, look at your weapon. Pick out my weapon. Weapon of choice here. Hmm. So Olivia's gonna paint these panels up, or touch them up at least, after we get them straightened out. We got a custom uh, stand here, and a custom stand there. Got my Dale Earnhardt koozie. Oh, DJ Jack, his new name is No Chain Jack. No Chain? Yeah. <laughs> Touching up? Yeah. Look good? Look good? Yeah. How is your uh, your special drink over there? Disgusting. Yeah, prebiotic. She got some kind of freaking weird, I don't know, health conscious shake thing here. Give me this. I'll take some chips and sauce and a beer. Alright, the painter here is complaining about the bugs in there. Well, look at this! We can't really see it now. <laughs> yeah, city girl. <laughs> Anyways, Hibbley Picker is doing his Hibbley thing here and killing all the bugs. But they're just dropping. He's getting them, alright? Yeah. It's one way to do it. That's the majority of them. <laughs> That's it, right there. All right, so we had to make a little modification to the English wheel here because the thing was not sitting even on the bottom anvil. Big old gap on this side. Who could recognize that right there? Somebody can. Win a free beer at a bar in South Carolina next week. <laughs> If right. you can guess what that is. I just told him, but... Well, you know, bleep that out. If you did guess it, then I'll give you a free beer in but, South Carolina. You know, it wouldn't be a Trezian racing tool if we didn't have to modify it in some way to make this work. Yeah, we could have bought, you know, the $2,000 English wheel to make it all work and be perfect and stuff, but we bought the $300 one instead. A little shim. Right on the money. These things rolled out perfect tonight. Got some painting done. Got the panels rolled out. We're, uh, we're looking good for some pictures, and uh, yes. we'll get this thing posted as soon as we can. We'll let you guys know. Whatever. <laughs> Let's see it. Oh, oh you, man. Oh, this one. If it was Bush, you could have got it. They're wider cans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, we're making a dent over here. Oh, yeah. we got to get some cans out of here. Got this old busted up tire off this busted up rim, and then got the rim wrench going out here. It is ready for another battle. Oh, DJ Jack wants to go for round two. Round two. King your jackass. We go for the two for one deal. Let's see it. Oh! oh. Look at this shit. You got half the can. How'd you do that? You couldn't do that if you tried. <laughs> How does one do that to a can? So got the car back in here. Got a little extra thirsty last night on Thirsty Thursday. Had a good time though. But anyways, I uh, got all the panels rolled out and painted up. And just to clarify, if you guys didn't watch my last video, um, if you guys know what this is right here, drop me a comment, send me an email, find me on Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Send me a message what that is. I'm gonna be going to the Darlington race in South Carolina on September 5th, next Sunday. Um, 
I'm basically going to be in that area the whole time, um, that whole weekend at Clover, South Carolina is where we're going to be staying at. So Thursday, it's a thirsty Thursday, look at that. Um, I'm going to be going to the Rock Galt Memorial Race at Cherokee Speedway, the 40,000 win late model race, um, to watch them race and have a good time. But anyways, if you guys know what that is, let me know if you're going to be in the area or at that race, what it is. The first one that lets me know what it is, and you're going to be in the area, I'll buy you or give you a beer. I'm not sure if they allow coolers in there. I've been there once, and I think I saw people bringing coolers in the Cherokee Speedway, but not positive. So you guys know, let me know um, in the comments or whatever. Do they let coolers and let you bring beer in? Whatever, but that's the deal. I'll buy you a beer if you know what that is. Anyways, coming over here, um, I just decided to take off my little shield here on the, the headers that I've been kind of running just temporarily but anyways that's the problem i had i've had this little cover on there for a long time now just because i know i gotta do buy new headers and i gotta basically redo the whole exhaust system um but this thing was totally freaking up here and this bottom one was cracked and this other uh, primary tube was cracked too so i just kind of tacked them together and i'm going to try to do a little bent but not broken trick here and uh take a little bit of this uh, steel I found lying around and just weld it up somehow kind of tack it back into place um, and let her live to see another day um, basically until I buy the new exhaust system for it I'm just gonna have to run it like that but that definitely wasn't helping performance I guarantee it I mean I just find more and more stuff wrong with the car uh, from the last race like our tires that were basically bald are running on the car and that right rear shock mount that came off um, and now the headers. I mean, that that is definitely not doing the scavenging like it needs to be doing with that big old hole there. It just, I think what happened is it cracked and then all the hot air or flames or whatever were just gassing out and just eating this metal away. So it'll work temporarily, but not broken, baby. That's how we do it. Can't afford headers right now, but I will in the future, maybe next season if I don't sell this car. But anyways, I'm gonna keep on working on this thing and getting close to the goal. All right, like I always say, it don't look pretty, but it's gonna hold at least for a couple races. I don't know how many, but it'll get us through the next race, that's for sure. All right, so I just mounted a big old um, piece of angle aluminum that goes basically from the back of this panel all the way to the front here. And I got some screws that are bolted into it. Um, on the back side, got the little nut certs. Um, so now I'm making some spring steel up. But before I make the spring steel, if I have to make the mounts, so I can weld to the frame, and I'm gonna use some old scrap here, cut out a couple pieces, and uh, drill a hole through it and make the mount, custom mount, baby. All right, got nine of them cut out. Now all I gotta do is flatten them out a little bit and then put them through the drill press, get some holes in them, be perfectly good, cheap to me mounts. All right, spring still mounts are done. If you guys are shaking your head at this kind of work right here, you probably should change the channel because this is what I do. I'm not gonna go and buy all these mounts and stuff from uh, somewhere online or something like that because number one, you save a couple bucks. Number two, I don't have to wait for parts to show up. And I'd like to support local businesses and we don't really have any uh, race car parts stores that are open on a Sunday, number one. And number two, that would carry this stuff to begin with. So anyways, this is how I roll. If you guys don't like it, then change the channel. All right, so this is a pretty widely known trick in the racing world, but vacuum washers. Get them off the old drill bits, the old rivet heads. They especially work good on the back side of plastic, so you get a little more uh, surface area to grab onto.
pretty dang close to being straight as it was before. Still gotta work this nose out a little bit and uh, brace it up. I kind of took everything off. On the inside here, the aluminum I had. But anyways, I still gotta fix that and um, make the spring steel, but all the mounts and stuff are in. I got a lot of stuff done here that I was hoping to get done. So she's ready to spit some flames again. I can't wait to get this thing back on the track. If you guys saw the last race of Petaluma, there was a constant flame, like a blue flame, come out to here on the gas. It was cool looking from the video. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's visible. You look hard in the video. It's like I'm coming by the back stretch and it's blowing flame out there and they get off and it goes woof. So looking forward, especially now that I got the exhaust manifold, um, not the manifold, excuse me. The, uh, the headers all fixed up and not leaking nearly as bad as they were. So I'm gonna start crossing some stuff off the list here. Uh, so I fixed the body and I got all the stuff welded up on the bracing for the spring steel and Livia pretty much touched up all the orange so making some good headway here but I'm gonna call it a day and a video um, I gotta get inside and start packing so if you guys know what that is on the English wheel over there you let me know and I'll see you in South Carolina for some racing I appreciate y'all watching as always um, can't wait to get this thing back on the track like I said and get it all stickered up and pretty and uh, get some good pictures of it. So um, I'll see you next time guys. Don't forget it's bent. It ain't broken 90% our nation, baby We'll see you next time